All I can say, Sagittarius, is you have new blessings and new prosperity on the way. So as I'm recording your video, I am hearing or getting ready to record it. I'm hearing these messages that are very, very powerful for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. So let's take a look at what's coming your way in January. You can click the link below. Sag, you have been through a lot, okay? And yes, we know a lot of people have, but the first card that came out for you is the Upside Down Four of Wands. This is the relationship card. This is your inner foundation of who you are. This is your foundation, your home, your environment. Your foundation may have been completely upside down. Now keep in mind, I am not a traditional tarot reader. I hear the messages, I see the visions, and I will look over here for the past, the present, and the future, and this has not happened yet. And let me tell you, what is coming your way is very, very amazing. Talk about blessings. We have the card of abundance. That is blessings. What you need, what you want, is coming and starting in the month of January. For a lot of you, I feel this is about you opening up and saying, give me whatever it is that I'm supposed to have. If I'm supposed to have this job, it's going to come in. If I'm supposed to have this person, it's going to come in or the project or whatever it is in your life. And here comes the offer. Here comes the prosperity that we're talking about with the pentacles. So Wow. Wow. And you have been very patiently waiting. A lot of you, I feel you've just been challenged to the point where over the last two to three years, I'm seeing two dash three years over the last two to three years, you've been going through just this uh, questioning. Am, am I really good at what I'm doing? And do I really deserve this? Am I doing something wrong? And then no, the answer is no. You have been guided to go through this process. And, and some of you had to feel like you were sitting for a really long time, being very, very patient. And you have the card of patience right here, which represents Sagittarius, by the way. So we are definitely talking about you. You've been guided to really reflect on your inner mind and body, but your emotional body may have been out of whack. You may have been overly attached to things that were not meant for you. Some of you may have been a little bit stubborn and not wanting to let it go and release it so that you could have the things that the divine wants you to have, the things that universe is trying to send you, but yet you felt stuck. Now, the Magician card is here, and this is manipulation. This is magic, okay? Manipulation is the negative side to this Magician, and the magic is the powerful part of you. When the Divine comes in, when the Universe is working with you, that's when the magic happens, okay? And I feel you have really overcome some situations that were... Um, well, I'm going to say quite challenging indeed, but, you know, really it's like there there were people around you that were overpowering you, okay? They were calling the shots, and those shots were not right for you. There were situations where I feel some of you, you relocated, and it didn't feel right. The energy of the land that you were living on, whether it's a house or an apartment, doesn't matter, it could even be the environment that you spent most of your time in, whether it's volunteer or whether it's your work. It didn't feel right. I mean, I have people who volunteer their time and they're like, I don't want to go back. It's awful. <laughs> you know? it, it's just going to vary. And I want to hear your comments on that. This is the centering inside of you. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay, so you're creating this new foundation that is going to bring in blessings and prosperity. 2024 is this amazing opportunity and it is going to be very big in the first six months and then throughout the entire year. But that first six months is when you want to jump up and take action. You are an action sign, Sag. This is, this is you using your creativity, opening up your heart, opening up your logical self and saying, okay, now bring it in. Now I'm ready. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm ready. You may have learned how to do some prayer and meditation. I recommend a lot of my clients do it together back to back. That way you are covering every aspect inside of you 
until you figure out the right words for you to say, the right method. Some people, they chant, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. The point is, whatever you're doing is getting ready to create this mystical um, ambiance of prosperity. <laughs> it's it's really magical what I see there's little sparks flying around like you know like in a in a uh, you know a cartoon movie where the sparks fly around because it's so amazing that's what I see coming in for you this is for those of you who have done your inner work okay if you've done your deep rooted work you've been working on creating this inner alignment you are finally going to get that uh, that reward. You are finally going to get your karma. Now, we can call karma or dharma, all right? It Karma means what you put out is what you get back. So if you were an overgiver and you've learned to stop overgiving and you've learned to give to the right people instead of the wrong people that will flip you upside down like this every time, they don't care. They don't care about you. You have to stop giving to those people. So if you've done that, this is going to really hit you in the month of January. So I'm going to pull one more card for you personally. Then we're going to look at career and projects and, uh, you know, outside organizations that you may be attached to and um, family, friends and love. You have the page of cups right here. Again, another blessing. The cups indicate a blessing is coming your way. And this is like you opening up just enough to say, I've learned my lesson on blocking these kind of situations, these kind of people out, most of you. It may very well be negative thinking that has caused this. And maybe that was invoked by other people, by your social circle, by whoever you were involved with. But the point is, you are getting into this new mode of you and you're going to shine and you're going to have a different aura for the people out there where you can see auras you're going to see different auras around our beautiful Sagittarians if you are the kind of person who can feel the vibration of the energy you know if you're like me and you can start feeling and seeing these things you're going to recognize it in a lot of our Sagittarians. I mean, there's a lot of people too, but Sag, you are definitely one of them. So let's take a look at your career, your projects, your uh, investments, your anything you have put your time, energy, and resources in and see what's coming your way. Now you're starting off with the hangman, okay? And this is really taking a look at what's going on around you because some of you have been indecisive. And that indecisive goes into that low vibrancy frequency, okay? That low vibrating frequency will create a pause. It'll put you in this position going, wait a minute, look at it again. When it comes to your career, are you actually in the right career? Number one, are you investing your time in a project that is actually aligned with you? Are you doing it because somebody said you should do it or you feel obligated? And some of you, it's going to be that last one where you feel obligated. When it comes to career and finances and your securities, you have a lot of cards coming out that are very negative. All right, you have the four of, of pentacles, which is being blocked. Not If our heart is blocked, if we say screw forget love. Okay. I don't ever want to be in a relationship. I hate love. You're blocking your financial prosperity as well. All right. When we block this area, we block all the good stuff from coming in period. And that's what I feel you guys have gone through where you're going, Oh, I get it now. I get it. And you're becoming the master magician of your own life. You understand that nobody's going to get the job for you. Nobody's going to win the job. Even if you get the job through a friend or the promotion through a friend, you have to do the work. So you have to align to whatever it is that you are doing. If you've been investing your time in a situation that is not right for you, you are out of there. You are walking away from it. And you're like, I'm done because you've got the nine of pentacles. This is you taking a step back and reevaluating how you're spending your money, where you're investing your money, your time, and your energy. If you've been putting a lot of time in trying to start up, uh, um, I'm hearing charitable, charitable 
organization. So that would be like, you know, starting up a charity could be a nonprofit for some of you, but it has to do with agriculture i just heard the word agriculture okay now i'm seeing a lot of it looks like farmland where everything is divided in lines and they have those big water things that shoot water out <laughs> that's what this is what the vision is that i'm seeing so it definitely has to do with ag agriculture it has to do with uh um produce this could be you some of you getting a job in stock brokerage where you're working in that particular area you're working with um a different type of investment for other people and this is going to be very very good for you guys now follow your gut on every decision that comes through in the month of january everything needs to be really feeling it inside your gut's going to lead you in the right direction if you can hear your guides listen for your guides listen for your higher self to guide you along this way but the universe is creating this alignment for you where this new beautiful like a rebirth of your life so if you have gone through everything and everything flipped upside down you're going to start seeing the little sprouts in the month of january where it's a new job it's putting your foot in the door over here it's getting this an investment over here finally an investment payout getting those signed contracts done all of the things that have just been weighing you down weighing you down where you felt trapped and stuck for the past two to three years some of you it's five years some of you it's even longer because you have said you know enough is enough and that's what's really taken place here when it comes to what you're putting your energy and effort in now i feel a lot of you this is going to have a lot to do with your family and friends so let's take a look at them now some people have been apart from their family their loved ones for quite some time whether that be the one that they really miss the most some of you guys don't miss your family at all you're like mm -mm, no and that's okay too but we're going to look at what's ever going on around you when it comes to family and friends you just had a ton of cards fly out all right you are starting off with communication okay now if you did not hear from somebody by the 8th of january or through the eight weeks of january going into february you are going to hear from somebody this is somebody that you're going to have to take a step back because they broke your heart yeah the hangman again and whoever this person was they're very very close to you this is like a mother this is like a grandmother or a sibling even a child but it, it very feminine energy it could be a man it can be a woman but they are very nurturing in in general is what they're saying they know how to be nurturing but yet i see you hugging okay i'm holding on to them like i miss you come back now take another look around it whoever this empress is it could be a virgo you may be dealing with a capricorn virgo or taurus some of you are dealing with a scorpio a fellow Sagittarius whoever this individual is no matter what their zodiac sign is it's time to really reassess and evaluate the situation if you didn't already do it for those of you that did it I'll, I'll be with you in one second those of you who are with the person who has broken your heart and your family and your friends who is not there for you who doesn't uh, I hear the word sponsor you who isn't supportive and I would say that equates to supportive you have to really look at that situation okay they may have been part of why your foundation internal external why things flipped upside down for you or felt like they were tipping because i sometimes i see the house tipping like you know the wizard of oz how the house tips um it's it's like this person is very powerful in their own right whoever they are like they know how to use their power and they may very well understand what that magician card is all about and use it in a way that caused you to have issues to cause you to lose your job to get relocated in a place you don't like it's like they may read you and know you better than you know your own self but this empress here is also indicating that you have a 
promising opportunity coming in that if you take a step back, you may be walking toward them. You're like, I'm getting rid of all of these, but this person, I feel, because Mercury's still in retrograde all the way until the 20th of January, that's the post period. All right, so that's seven days right there. That particular time is when they may actually walk into your life. But whatever is going on, there is this rebirth, this rejuvenation opportunity, if you choose. And I know you guys that have been through horrific situations with the people you love in your family and friends, you're like, mm -mm, no, and that's okay. That's all right. But there's something about this particular person that I feel you need to hear what they have to say. This may be closure for those of you who don't know how to get closure. Those of you who have already moved past it, it is more about you getting that completion to help you move forward, feeling the validation. We can say, oh, I'm so over it, but it doesn't mean it's over it in here. And you may have experienced that when you come to me and I say, oh, there's a person still attached to you. And you're like, no, I got rid of them. If I'm seeing them there, then you didn't get rid of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It may be out of sight, out of mind, but if it's still attached to your soul, they can still have unconscious subconscious unconscious attachment to every decision that you make all right so there is a value to listen just take a step back and evaluate the situation before you say yes or no some of you may have already done this now uh, we're going to look at romance because some of you are getting ready to meet a brand new person and it is going to be very, very cool. It is going to be very wonderful. But you are going to need to use your intuition. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Cups. You're going to meet somebody. Could be a Virgo. It may be a Taurus. Uh, I feel very strong about that. And some of you, I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> I am. That, that, that way is not any of my reading. Um, you have somebody coming in that's going to be like, mesmerizing you you're going to be very focused on each other this could be your partner but you have to make sure that you are walking the right path as you go forward because if you don't it could trip you up and you're starting to take this foundation internal external and bring it in the upright position and that's where we want you to be new relationships new opportunities new jobs we're talking blessings and prosperity if you have a current relationship, you can fix it. If you choose to focus on what it is that you want and ask the universe to work with you. You want the happy home, happy family. This is blessings right here. Then ask them to guide you. Use your inner intuition, your guidance to help create this scenario. If you want the ultimate relationship partner, some of you are going to meet them this month. They're going to be watching you and you're going to be watching them and it's going to feel like giddy. <laughs> it feels really giddy. So the last message that I have for you, Sag, really, it's going to be an incredible month. It doesn't mean it isn't going to come without challenges. It will. It doesn't mean that it's going to be super easy and breezy. You're still going to have to determine uh, uh, what direction you want to go and be focused on that. The card for you is I accept my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And this is about trust. You have learned how to trust your own decisions. That's the whole thing. So when I said you need to listen to this empress, that doesn't mean you have to let them back in your life. But you are going to make sure I can trust every decision just by meeting that person. Have they changed? Have they grown? Do I want them back in my life? No matter who they represent. That empress is somebody who is very powerful, but the trust you have in your own decision making is what's going to change your life for the better. So you guys, I wish you a very happy new year. I love to hear your comments. Much love.